Jump, 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 jump. One, two, three, four, five. I know there were six. Six what? <laughs> Invisible bulldogs. Straight from Netherworld Pets. Our gift to Enchantra. They're her favorites. Oh, I see. Now I really see. What's that awful smell? The dogs? Nope. Homemade dragon stew. Enchantress' favorite dish, it's to die for. <laughs> Don't you girls think you're overdoing it a bit? Hello? We're talking Enchantra here. Head of the Witches' Council, our supreme leader, ruler, president, Grand Pooba. And she's coming to evaluate Sabrina's powers. We're just trying to do the right thing. Yeah, kiss up mightily. Enchantra's the only witch with the power to zap us back into our adult bodies. Bring on the grub, because I'm a hankering for something hearty. Um, what was that? Ah! Oh, my stars and garters. Ah! Ah! Mutant mutts. Downstairs, it's a war zone. I'm trying to study, Salem. For your witch evaluation? For my history test? Now and Scray. Uh-uh. I'm not going back down there. Who knows what your aunties are going to whip up next to impress Enchantra? No! Enchantress got it so made, which all I had to do was zap around the universe, give evaluations, evoke terror in the hearts of witches everywhere. Yep, she's a natural. Instead, I have tests, homework, chores, the social scene. Welcome to my so-called half-mortal life. Hey, want to see something cool? It's a wish crystal. Whoa, cool. Yep, this baby grants the owner his fondest wish for 24 hours. Pass it on and you're done. I'd love a whole day without gemstone. Sorry, kid. Only produces one wish, and then it burns out. What are you going to wish for? Human body. This cool rockin' daddy is gonna be sprouting some thumbs real soon. I'd wait until after Enchantress' visit to take your human vacation if I were you. You're right. One look at my handsome human bod and she'll be all over me. <laughs> I meant she might double your cat sentence if she catches you cheating. Ah! <laughs> Just to be on the safe side, protect this for me till after she leaves. <laughs> Oh, thunder. Sounds like Enchantress about to make her entrance. Let's get this over with. She's here. How does anyone expect me to get any studying done around this house? What a show off. Blech. Sugar free hemlock flavor. present the indomitable Madam Enchantra. Hello, darlings. Greatness is before you. Welcome, Enchantra. That's how you address the greatest witch in the universe? The big cheese, the head honcho? Welcome, Enchantra. Mr. Stepping back, do something before I lose my temper. <sighs> Such a drama queen. You will apologize to Madam Enchantra at once. S sorry. Much better. You've got the trembling down. That's an important precursor to a first-rate grovel. <laughs> What's that? Invisible puppies, a gift for you, Enchantra. And homemade dragon stew prepared just the way you like it. Alive, apparently. Very thoughtful. But I've never seen so much kissing up in 10,000 years. Bye-bye. <laughs> what are we trying to do, girls? Cover up our nieces and adequacies as a witch, hmm? No, no, no not no. at all. No. Let's just get on with the proceedings. Now then, time to test your powers and see if being a half witch has ruined you. It hasn't. No, no, she's great. You'll see. You can do it. Silence. Okay. Much better. All right then. Moving on to basic levitation. You fly, girl. <laughs> a little wobbly on takeoff, but not bad. You writing all this down, stabbing back? Ever so eagerly, madam. You dotty old cow. For our final test, a summoning spell. Summoning spell? We'll start with something simple. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. In our attic? Uh, just for size, dear. Oh, don't they teach you anything in that mortal school? Um, magic words, hear my plea. Stack the pizza right before me. <laughs> uh, 
Oops. <laughs> Don't you even know how to do a simple summoning spell incantation? Mm. <sighs> First you need the feather of an eagle. Ow! So happy to be of assistance, madam. And then you mutter the following incantation while holding said eagle feather between index finger and thumb. Twixle pigs and ginger tree, I command you now, bring to me. Well, see, I haven't gotten that far in my witchcraft. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Just as I suspected, your cushy mortal life has weakened your powers. Cushy? Well, what else do you call slacking off in mortal school, hanging out with your dull mortal friends? You've got it way too easy, Sabrina. Easy? You call homework, chores, and, and boys easy? You're the one living the lifestyles of the witch and famous. Like saying bow, kneel, and serve me is hard work. Sabrina, first word, calm. Second word, down. You truly think there's nothing more to being real ruler than barking orders? All I know is that I sure wish you could be in my shoes and I could be in yours. Then you'd see firsthand the things that I could. No. <laughs> hey, how did I get over here? And what am I doing over here? And why am I looking at... <gasps> me! Oh no, my wish crystal. Sabrina must have activated it accidentally when she wished you guys could swap lives. What? Even I'm vulnerable to the magic of the wish crystal? Which means I'm Child? Don't think I'm too kicked up about having the body of a wrinkled old... Watch it, kid. Ugh. What are you doing? Trying to zap up a simple hand mirror. Let me try. <laughs> wow. Guess I'm pretty powerful now, huh? Oh, you now have my wonderfully seasoned zapperific powers, but without a clue how to use them properly. And while I know every spell in the world, I'm totally trapped in a body with limited abilities. Oh, poo. How can I rule the netherworld like this? I'll never get any work done. Although I do have that annoying meeting tomorrow and that official visit from the king of the slug people. I don't like the sound of this. I have a brilliant idea. You'll impersonate me in the netherworld until the spell is over. Are you serious? Queens are always serious. Have my scepter on the ground three times and the doorway to the netherworld will open up. Chop, chop. So you're going to live the life of a seventh grader? Absolutely. I deserve a vacation. What could be easier than 24 hours in the mortal world? It's a lot harder than being a chance of the pampered empress. By the way, you tell anybody about this and I'll zap you to witch reform school the minute the spell wears off. The secret's safe with me. Cat, go with her and keep her out of trouble. You got room service? Of course. Okay, I'm in. Have fun studying all my subjects. I'm going to have a blast rolling over mine. <sighs> This is jamming. Can we say party time? Off with their heads. Enchantra, <laughs> <laughs> survived your visit with the uh, Spellmans? Yeah, what a cool group of people. Cool? Oh, I get it. You turned them into icicles. How delicious. <laughs> ah, what's that four-legged miscreant doing in here? Me? A miscreant? How dare you, pal? Uh, what's a miscreant? Look, even the White House has a cat. But you are allergic to animals. Well, I, uh... Found a spell that cured me. I am Enchantra, after all. Yeah, she's Enchantra, so bug off. Your visit with the Spellmans has done more damage than I suspected. Come along. Oh, boy. Now the fun really starts. <laughs> Pamper City, here we come. Wonder what the real Enchantra's up to. <laughs> hey, <Hating> Miss. <Hating> it. <laughs> Just like I thought a mortal girl's life is a piece of cake. I can handle this for 24 hours. I don't know. I'll talk to her. Uh... Sabrina, move out of the way, fool! I know she's not talking to us. Uh-uh, no way. Oh, gosh, Willikers! Why did you turn off the TV, aunties? Because you're late for school. And what's with the haughty accent? Sounds just like Enchantress' fake job. Fake? Better watch out, Sabrina. We don't like the old bat any more than you do, but she is our leader. Even though the hoity-toity accent has got to go. I heard from a very reliable source that she's actually from the south side of the netherworld. <sighs> Prepare to foil in oblivion! <gasps> and magic doesn't work! This body hasn't grown into its full power yet! What do you expect? You're still a kid! Who is late for school, now get a move on. I'm not leaving this house and you can't make me! Oh, guess they can! What an archaic dwelling. What kind of creatures am I going to encounter here? Hey, Sabrina, what's up? 
I have to what? Speak to the press about the magic wall that's broken out between the East and West Netherworlds. Enchantra, Rod Wood from the Daily Poltergeist. Uh, what are you going to do about the current crisis? Uh, no comment. No comment? Yeah, what's the big idea? Yeah, you always give us a quote. Yeah, she's playing games with us, boys. Come hey, on, hey, 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 hey. Get your tentacles off me, El Creepo. Time for your next appointment, madam. Um, when does the pampering part start? 2 p.m. You're meeting with the Fairy Queen to discuss foreign diplomacy. Remember the proper greeting protocol. Uh, what's the proper greeting protocol? It says here you gotta bat your eyes twice, wiggle your nose, and stick a finger in your ear while you grunt three times. Only grunt twice, and she'll be highly offended. Got it. I think. We are not amused. Yeah! You expect me to learn about all those presidents? You were supposed to have it all memorized already, Sabrina. Impossible! There is only one name of importance to know, Enchantra! And who exactly is Enchantra? Enchantra! Head of the Witches' Council and ruler of all of the Netherworld! <laughs> You'll pay for these laughs. I'll see you all buried up to your human eyeballs in the darkest dimension in the galaxy. Ooh. Welcome to Detention Hall. I don't know if things can get any worse, Salem. Oh, sure they can. And because of refusal to answer reporters' questions, the netherworld has begun to wonder if Enchantra knows what she's doing? Could the next step be impeachment? Impeachment? On the grounds of professional incompetence? Outrageous! Salem! I'm destroying Enchantra's career. Wonder how she's handling your life. Yeah. You want me to do what? The dishes, Sabrina, like always. <laughs> and when you're done, it's your week to do laundry. Oh. My hands have become prunes. My body aches with mortal pain. My mind is numb with useless human information. <laughs> I can take no more. Time for which work, Sabrina? Which work? You heard what Enchantress said. You're not keeping up. How can she? I mean, I. I think I've done a marvelous job, considering... Hey, we agree. But Enchantra doesn't know what a challenge it is to balance both mortal and witch life. So, up and at him. How does Sabrina survive this life? I seriously don't know how Enchantra does it, Salem. Yeah, it kind of explains her nasty disposition. Although the juvenile self-absorption and whipsaw mood changes are still a mystery to me. I can't wait to swap bodies and become the real Sabrina again. Yeah. Adios to this netherworld nightmare, and hello to my catnapping, quigly harassing life. Well, well, well. An imposter in our midst. <laughs> Salem, only 30 minutes left and we get to go back home. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere. I know you're not the real Enchantra, little girl. And frankly, I couldn't be happier, because without the real Enchantra around, and you unaware of how to use her powers, it's takeover time. Salem, quick! Don't let him get the scepter! <laughs> that belongs to me now. Only one who knows how to use it has access to its unlimited power. Gods, take them to the dungeon! All we gotta do is stick it out for 30 more minutes. That's how much time's left till Enchantra and I swap bodies. We'll be home free. If only it were that simple, child. Welcome back, he who reigns on parade. When my potion is complete, it will make your switch with Enchantra permanent. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> I adore these new microwave cauldrons, don't you? <laughs> Once the spell comes to a boil, Enchantra will be stuck in the mortal world. I'll be ruler of the netherworld and you'll be my prisoners forever. <laughs> Somebody's been reading the big book of supervillain cliches. No way I could spend eternity in goth wear, heavy eyeliner, and fat sucking pantyhose. What are we going to do? <laughs> What? Mr. Spot, hope this teaches you not to be sassy with your elders. Gotta train them before they turn into rebellious teenagers. When I get my powers back, ooh, how you witches are gonna pay. <laughs> Fat sucking pantyhose. Oh, that's good. I wish Enchantra were here to be much more satisfying to laugh in her face. <laughs> that's it. What's it? Doi, why didn't I think of this before? I was having Enchantra here with a summoning spell she taught me. How is that gonna help? She's you. I mean, she's stuck in your body with limited powers, remember? Yeah, but she can guide me in using her powers to stop stabbing that. What are we waiting for, girl? Madam Big Bottom to the rescue. Um, to complete the spell, I need an eagle's feather. Yeah, no way, no how. Find yourself another sucker. 
You're the only one around, Salem. How do I always get saddled with the horrible missions? <laughs> because you're resourceful, smart, and handsome. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. And furthermore, as the newly appointed leader of the Witches' Council, I don't know, of the entire nether world, no. of the universe and beyond, much better, I issue the following new rules. Later, Tater, you'll pay for this indignity! <laughs> Quick, Sabrina, repeat after me. Nickety snickety, it's time for delight. Nickety snickety, it's time for delight. Turn stabbing back into a tiny troglodyte. Turn stabbing back into a tiny troglodyte. I'll get you for this. I'll get you. Well done, Sabrina. Couldn't have done it without you, Enchantra. Okay, it's time for the change. Well, I guess I kind of underestimated your life, Enchantra. Your job isn't as easy as it looks. And neither is being a half-witch in a mortal world. Don't know how you do it, but you do it well, Sabrina. Thanks. Three words. Fat, sucking, <laughs> perennial. Guess we're just better at our own lives. Hope I didn't mess yours up too much. I have a feeling we'll be able to straighten things out all right. Although there is one little piece of unfinished business I'd like to wrap up. <laughs> and who has the most elegant, authentic accent you've ever heard? You, Enchantra. And who were you calling an old bat? Not, Not you, Enchantra. You missed a spot, girl. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> 